Hey everyone, this is the Loose Cannon, David McBee, and we are getting ready to start our third night of basketball this week. We've already knocked out eight games, one on Saturday. This is going to be game number 10 in the last five days, and we got three more right after this one. But uh, senior girls basketball to start off the semifinals here at the district tournament as it's going to be Lifeway taking on the number one seed, the Lady Bobcats of Flippin' right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. So everyone... Stay tuned, share this link, tag a family member. This is their chance to watch the game live right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network, our first of four, and we got four incredible matchups. It's going to be a great night of basketball right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. We'll be right back.
Hey everyone, this is the Loose Cannon, David McBee. Welcome back to our third night of district tournament coverage as we're getting ready to do our first game of the night. This is going to be Flippin' versus Lifeway. Flippin', this is their first game here in the district tournament as they came in the regular season champion, the number one seed. And of course, we've covered two Lifeway victories and now they're seeing if they can make it three and get to the finals. We're still about seven minutes away from the tip-off of our first of four games tonight. And I'll tell you what, we got a slobber knocker lineup of games this evening. It's going to be a good one. Of course, immediately after this, we got the number one seed, Eureka Spring Highlander Senior Boys. They're going to also be they're going to be taking on Alpina. And then after that, we got the Yellville Senior Girls taking on the Cotter Senior Girls. And in the final match of the day, we're going to have Cotter versus Flippin Senior Boys. See who's going to go to the district championship should be some great matchups right here on the twin lakes sports network Hey, Joey, Dave, what's up? This is Coach Musselman, Arkansas Razorbacks. Hey, I know you guys are huge North Central Arkansas basketball fans, and I uh, just wanted to thank you uh, for streaming high school sports for all the local stations in North Central Arkansas. I know you've done over 250 basketball games in the past three years as volunteers. Incredible uh, to volunteer all that time and energy and enthusiasm uh, to help youth sports. You've helped parents, grandparents, um, and just in general, um, especially during these COVID restrictions. So Dave and Joey, awesome work, man. Keep it up.
All right, guys, we are getting ready to get started. Down about a minute left before they introduce the starting lineups of our first game of this evening. It's going to be Lifeway versus the number one seed flip. And, of course, Lifeway got two vic uh, victories to get here. See if they can make it three in a row and advance to the finals. The winner of this game will advance to the finals tomorrow night right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Number 15, Mosley, and number 21, Mosley. Starting lineup for Lifeway. They've won two games this week, trying to make it three, seeing if they can advance. Number four, Brooklyn Leninger. He's had a great season so far this year. Number 11, Deborah Rackley. Number 24, Ella Alexander. Number 10, Sydney Wire. Number 10, Sydney Wire. And number 31, Allie Downs. Downs. And they're coached by Coach Grant Greenhaw. Of course, Flippin was the number one seed this year. And I'll give, give a shout out our friends at Leopard Sports Media. Mr. Jody Marshall's helping man camera this game, so. All right, 
and we're getting our mics all set. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me, sir? Oh. In the words of Gene Okerlund, we're live, pal. Awesome. <laughs> Let's say the flipping Lady Bobcats will be in the home white tonight. Why the Lifeway Christians in the road black. Bro, the Warriors got two big wins this week. Trying to see if they can make it three in a row, advance to the finals. And Alexander gets the opening tip for flipping. So the Lady Bobcats have, have had a little bit of rest while uh, Lifeway's been having to make some trips back and forth to Centerton. A long drive. That's true. I've been there several times. It's not nothing you want to make in a day every day. I can promise you that. This is their third trip, so we'll see if fatigue plays a factor. It's going to be a turnover there for the Lady Bobcats. I see the Lady Bobcats are going to try with a full court pressure here. And yeah, they're putting some pressure on early. Something they've done a lot this year is that full court press. That's really helped them against Cotter and Yellville. Alexander gets the steal. Gonna be knocked out of bounds. Good play there by Bruner, knocking it out of bounds. They still seem to have their feet, Dave. Yeah, they're moving pretty good. Shot up right there. By the Lady Bobcats. So the Bobcats strike first, get on the board. Two to nothing. As they get it into Mosley, of course, the uh, the two Mosley sisters, they've had some big games earlier in the week. I think there's three of them total, right? Or is it just down to two now? There used to be three last year. I'm not sure if one graduated or not. Well, two's all I got on my roster, right. so. Shot up. Nice shot there by Mosley. Little runner there, knots it up at two. Of course, early start, so fans still making their way here. First of four games tonight. Wire thought about it. Good ball movement. Shot in and out, loose ball. Nice tip there by Leninger. Dish down low to Downs, and it's gonna be off of Lifeway. Still good defense right there. They're playing good defense. Lady Warriors, correct? Yeah, yeah. We have we have two Lady Warrior teams tonight. So, Cotter and Lifeway. As Lady Bobcats just getting set up early, kind of feeling each other out. These teams pretty familiar with each other, playing each other multiple times this year. Lady Warriors in a 2-3 defensive zone. It seems to be working. Yeah, the Lady Warriors forced the turnover and definitely is kind of setting their pace here in the opening couple minutes. Still a long way to go. A lot of basketball this evening. This gym's going to be rocking. Of course, immediately after this, we're going to have, as they try to go inside, Looks like that was off of Downs. They were trying to get it inside to Mosley. That's kind of been their plan of attack this week is get it inside to Mosley's. Bruners hit some big shots from outside. Yeah, I've only got to watch bits and pieces working. I've been watching Twin Lakes this week here on the district. Wish I could get over here more. It's the first time I've been able to. It's be a great night of high school basketball. Well, I am glad to have you joining me because I'd be doing this game solo, so... <laughs> So it's nice to have a little help. Lob inside to Mosley. He's got good position. Alexander commits the foul. So that's going to be our first foul of the game. First on Alexander. Now Mosley going to go to the line to shoot two. She got the first one. Of course, all those people tuning in, make sure you're, re you're hitting that share button, tagging a family member. If there's a relative that couldn't make it to the game this evening, they can watch live right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Yeah, 
Yeah, what was weird, I was thinking about what to say on the car ride over here because I've only, only grew up listening to you on the with wrestling and sports. I never actually really got to meet you in person. <laughs> well, Bucket is good, knots it up at four. And uh, right now, got a lot of people uh, online. We got Bob Rechterwald. He was helping me out earlier this week. He says, go girls. He doesn't have a dog in the fight, so he just hopes it's a good basketball game. As they're going to get the uh, backcourt violation is Mosley. So the pressure that you talked about earlier, Jody, they like to put some pressure on. Yes. I've got a chance to watch flipping once earlier this year. Against Alpena, and they really did apply the pressure. Three-point shot from Keeter's off. Nice rebound. They get it to Mosley. And here come the Lady Warriors right now. Game knotted at four online. Uh, we got a uh, – they did say the oldest graduated. So you're talking about the other Mosley yes. sister online. They said they did graduate. Mainly Benedict says, go Bobcats. Pat Woods, go Bobcats. Sally Stone, go Bobcats. Danielle Mosley, go Lifeway. Pat Moore says, we're behind you, Lifeway. So pretty good mix of both fans. And I love to see the mixture online. That's what I love to talk about during the games. Love people to be interactive. It makes our job so much easier. Yeah, because this is an interactive broadcast. This isn't like the yep. 1920s where you're having to like, let me hold the radio antenna to make sure I get the signal. This is an interactive broadcast, guys. So comment, share, tag family members. The only thing we ask, we do keep it civil. And luckily, we've been lucky. We've only had a couple incidences. Uh there's a foul right there. I believe that's Mosley will go to the line. Yeah, they're really trying to get into Mosley. Foul's going to be on downs. That's going to be her first. I tell people all the time on Leopard Sports Broadcast, whether you love me or you hate me, just let me know down in the comments. Let me know you're <laughs> out there. I've even said if you like Dave McBee better, just let me know. I didn't care. I want to see people interactive this afternoon for sure. She gets both free throws again. Yeah, Lifeway jumps up six to four. Low score in first quarter. These teams still kind of feeling each other out as Rackley is going to come down. She goes into Alexander, a little jump shot off the back of the rim. And uh, they're going to say that's off of Alexander out of bounds. Looked like one of the Alexander spikes that we got to see during volleyball coverage this year. So Flippin putting on some pressure. Greenhaw almost had the steal as she's now checked into the game for the Lady Bobcats. Nice screen on the outside, drive inside, shots off, Downs gets the board. And now Rackley ahead to Wire. Wire drive, tried to get in the corner to Alexander, she gets it. Over to Greenhoff for three. And Mosley gets the rebound. She's working really hard down low on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball. I'd love to see that effort. Well, Mosley shots off the rim. Alexander gets the board, and she's going to slow it down and give it to Rackley. We played five minutes here in the first quarter. Three-point shot from the corner is a little bit long. Rebound there by Downs. And they get it back to Wire and the Lady Bobcats set up again. Back to Greenhoff for three. Shot off the back of the rim again. Stacy nice travel with a basketball. So turnover now back to the Lady Bobcats. Of course, immediately after this, we got the number one seed, Eureka Springs, taking on Alpena. Should be a good one. And then uh, immediately after that, Yellville Summit takes on Cotter. Three-pointer from outside, Rackley. Yeah, it really kind of surprises me how Lifeway Lady Warriors are kind of just really packing it in the lane. They're, that was the first three-point shot that hit by the flip, and they'd been shooting them. Life Nice little runner there by Mosley. As right now the game plan, get it to the Mosley sisters on offense for Lifeway. 
Traveling violation. Got two Lady Bobcats checking into the ball game. Yeah, that, that's gonna be number 21 Hodges and that's number four Leninger coming into the game. Flippin' still in a full court press. So far, Lifeway Warriors have been pretty successful. Honestly, they haven't run a lot of offense. It's nope. been a lot of one-on-one -on -one isolation. Yep. There she goes, a hole again. She's fouled. That's Hodges there, commits the foul. That'll be Flippin's third foul of the ball game. First attempt is no good. And then, of course, our final game of the night, we are mentioning the game's final game, too. We're going to have a Cotter versus Flip, and that should be quite a slobber knocker to finish off our semifinal Thursday. She got that one. Now she's five for six. That's the only free throw she's missed here in the early going. A long way to go, but now under two minutes here in the first quarter. Rackley again from outside. Mosley with the rebound. Mosley just doing a good job getting position on those rebounds and Lifeway kind of having the way on the boards here early. Now Bruner setting up offense for Lifeway. Pass attempt, trying to get it to Wingard. Pass was high, out of bounds. In a low scoring defensive battle, Jody, to start us off. I've always heard defense wins championships, so whoever wins this is one step closer to the championship. So I do believe that's going to be the case. Even though I actually had coaches from both worlds when I was in high school, one was totally defense, and one says, all we have to do is score one more point than the other people. So, <laughs> baseball pass. Uh, in, well, we'll say that's a football pass intercepted by Downs. Nice play there. We got 45 seconds left to play here in the first quarter. They're going to Downs, out to Rackley for three. Mosley comes up with the rebound again for the Lady Warriors. We've got 30 seconds to play. They're going to try to push it up the floor. It's intercepted. Flippin will come back with it. That was not the pass that Lifeway wanted. They, you know, they wanted to slow it down and get last shot. Yep. Mosley comes up with it again. And now they're going to get last shot anyways as another turnover. Flippin kind of struggling with turnovers. Oh. But Rackley picks her pocket. Nice pass to Hodges, but it goes off her hands out of bounds. That was a good look by Rackley. Might have had a little bit too much mustard on that we one. We got 4.7 seconds left. I love the hustle. It's just a little ahead of how fast they need to play. Rifeway trying to inbound it. They get it in. They're going to have to hurry. It looks like they're just going to hold the ball. As their coach standing right next to him saying, don't shoot. <laughs> That's true. I do have something to say from one of the officials down there from Mr. Matt Bell. I was actually talking to him, and I hope you don't mind. No, go for it. Uh, just want to let you know the 3A high school state tournament is going to be in Harrison at North Arkansas College, put on by the Valley Springs Tigers. Oh, wow. That's some breaking news uh, yes. here. So. So anytime you can go watch great high school basketball anywhere in the state, especially if it's close, you need to come and do it. Well, there's some great 3A teams. We got a chance to see some of them here at the Billy Ply Tournament recently. And, uh, yeah, I would encourage anyone to kind of check that out. That sounds like a, that's big news for Harrison, so congratulations. And also the 2A Regional, I know most of you know this, but in case you do not know, it will be held at Eureka Springs. Yeah, so, so not, not a long trip for those teams that make regionals. No. I mean, anytime you can watch good high school basketball like this, you need to do it. Well, real quick, we want to thank a few of our sponsors, such as Taylor's Freeze King in Gasville, Vance Vision Clinic, White River Optical Shop, Dr. Dustin Vance, Complete Eye Care in Gasville. Stop by and see Dustin. I really need to see him because I can tell my eyes, I'm not seeing the numbers like I was last year. You know, it's sad. I'm having a hard time from up here seeing the people. 
had to look to this little camera screen. Yeah, that makes it hard to kind of see the little screen there. No, normally, uh, we got the deal maker on that, and you're doing a tremendous job. Appreciate you helping us out. No problem. Lady Bobcats will inbound it to start the second quarter. I took my caffeine pill for nothing because I was like, I'm, I, I took a caffeine pill. It's like, I'm going to have energy. I got to do this first game solo. So, uh, appreciate the help. No problem. In the corner to wire for three. Rebound by Greenhaw. Hits the bucket and draws the foul. Good shot there by the Lady Bobcats. She'll go to the line to the old-fashioned three-point play. That pulls the lead, tied 9-9. Nine nine. And the foul's going to be on Russell. That's her first. First on the team. And Greenhaw sinks the free throw. Puts Flippin back up one. Flippin still in a full-court pressure. Lifeaway's really not had a problem getting it. Into the court, three-point shot, right side. No good, rebound by the Lady Bobcats. A good position there by Downs, and now Rackley's gonna bring it down, set up offense. Goes ahead to Hodges, hits the tough shot. And flipping, starting to get a little offense going here at the start of the second quarter. I'm sure Coach Greenhaw uh, said, we gotta step this up. This is our home floor. We wanna get to the finals, we gotta bring it. And I can kind of see in just a few of the Lady Warriors, I can kind of see the pressure starting to mount up on them. Getting a little tired. Like I said, Bobcats have picked up the aggression. We got a jump ball at midcourt. Actually to be down on the uh, Lady Warriors to inbound. Well, it's, it's, it is a tough thing from their seating, but these uh, Lady Warriors, they've really had a good week so far and hoping they can continue it tonight. But they're gonna have to protect the ball. Hodges gets the steal. That was a good play by Downs getting in front. As Rackley setting it up in the corner for Wire for three. And she is. Got a charging foul. Yeah, yeah gonna be a charging foul, so. So that's gonna be number two on Hodges, fourth on the team. And again, this pressure, see flipping fresh legs, but nice pass there by Mosley. Ahead to Bruner, breaks the defense. Yeah, they just caught the Lady Bobcats not paying attention. They thought it was going to Mosley. They threw it right over everybody. And we got Kerry Mosley online saying, let's go Lifeway. Linda Welch says, I, I'm mispronouncing, it's like vinegar, Leninger. Linen, I, see, I can't, I'm sorry. I can't talk, that's what, I, ah. I, when you're born and raised in North Central Arkansas, so Linda, I apologize, I, I'll, I'll, work, I'll have to work on it. During the next time out, I'll have to practice it instead of practicing it on air. I know it sounds bad, that's why I never remember any personal names, I just call them by their team, that way I never get in trouble. Yeah, I, I, Linda, I'm sorry I'm butchering that, so. Uh, Shot off by the lady. Warriors partially deflected, so they'll keep it under their own goal. It sounds good in my head before it comes out of my mouth. But <laughs> it never sounds it never sounds right. I don't believe I have an accent to uh, listen to myself for sure. Three point shot up. Rebounded by the Lady Bobcats. Green high with the board. Now here comes Rackley as uh flipping picking up their pace on offense. Three pointer by wire. Loose ball that Lifeway comes away with. Flippin's had some good looks from the three-point line, just has not hit yep. early. Like I said, it was at the beginning of the ball game. So life away is almost daring them to shoot the three-point shot. They were just really pulling inside. And they get it ahead to wire. And now Rackley setting it up for the Lady Bobcats. Of course, Lady Bobcats regular season conference champions in a uh, really tight race. Uh, you had four or five teams that were all really in it until the last couple weeks. Greenhaw for three. Wow, good shot from downtown by the Lady Bobcats. Now Lady Bobcats largest lead of the game up four halfway here through the second quarter. Mosley into Mosley, shot is off. Nice rebound there. 
Kick it to the outside, three-pointer. They wow. say just long inside two, the line, yeah. long two by Wingard. It's been a great back and forth basketball game. That's kind of what you want to see, Dave. You don't want to see one too one-sided, especially on our end of it. It's a lot more exciting. Good steal by the Warriors. Yeah, Bruner knocked that away. We played halfway through the second quarter. Four minutes up, four minutes down. Mosley has it. She'll drive to the hole. Shot no good. Well, Downs gets the board. Fast moving game. I mean, we're almost to halftime already. Five Not fouls total. Which the last game I done when Alpina took on Life Away Christian, I made a or Hoss Hall. I made a joke because they went a whole half and only one foul. I thought they wasn't going to, and I stood corrected right there with about 30 seconds to go. <laughs> we had a game the other night that only had two fouls in the half, and it was a fast-moving, fast-moving game. As it's uh, Merkel, number 20, is checked in for flipping, along with number 32, that's Benedict. So, like I said, Lifeway is... They're just really compacted in that zone. They are they're really not worried about flipping threes. Downs with the short jump shot. Going to be knocked out of bounds off of Benedict. I mean, but, yeah, Joey, we've had good games all this week. Really, there's only been, you know, two games that was blowouts. Uh, you know, we've had free throws that needed to be hit with 1.7 seconds left and over an overtime classic with Yellville, and it's been good matchups all week long. Oh, I know it has. Like I said, I tuned in. I'm not going to lie to you. I was just a little bit jealous. I wasn't joking with you. You should message me earlier in the week, man. I'll take all the help <laughs> we can get. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, it's like you try to step back and let others do it because we're one big community. I, we try to be to get all these games to the parents and the kids that don't get to be here. And so, you know, we but we never try to step on each other's toes. But then again, it's like when you see somebody doing it and you can't do it, it makes you really want to do it. Shot up by the Bobcats. Nice shot there by Downs. Extends it now back to a four-point lead. But two minutes to go in this fast first half. Merkel punches it away. Greenhaw now has it. Back to Merkel. Is a much better second quarter offensively for the Lady Bobcats. But Lifeway is hanging right with them. Another traveling violation by the Bobcats. It's going to be their fourth one this game so far. Sorry, I do keep up with some stats in my head. Try to. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure the Bobcats coach does not like that at all. I'm, uh, I bet you we know what he's going to talk about at halftime. Yep. Protect the ball, protect the ball, protect the ball. Don't turn it over. Yep. And as he should, I had a timeout on the floor. Full timeout. Well, while I'm deleting the uh, fraudulent scammer that trying to jump on our screen real quick. Okay. Are you getting those popping up? We're, we're getting those a lot lately. No, I have never got those. In fact, I don't know. I let my main man, Mike McNeil, do all. He does all the camera work. I just sit there and talk and look beautiful. And, <laughs> and you know how bad that is. But, no, he does all my behind-the-scenes stuff. So, And my, mine is a little different. Uh, mine is actually all Apple stuff, which is yours is basically Android stuff, which I like your stuff because I know how to run it better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But so I have, you know, good times. Well, we always tell them, don't click if you have someone go into that. But real quick, let's take a few sponsors, such as Sims Family Auctions, specializing in all types of auctions. On Facebook, Sims Family Auctions. Give Hunter Sims a call, but you're not going to be able to call him in about two hours because he's going to be coaching Yellville, uh, taking on Cotter. Also, Bobby Sue's award-winning breakfast in Mountain Home. Stop by and see our good friend Steve. Tell him the Twin Lakes Sports Network sent you. Now back to action on the floor here. 144 to go in this first half. Flipping right now up four. Lifeway hanging tough with the number one seed. Steal by the Bobcats. Benedict tried to shoot it. Partially blocked. Great defensive play there by number 12. That's Wingard. 
Steal by the Bobcats again. They'll try to – now they'll slow it down now. I thought they were about to push, Dave. I think they were thinking about it, but they uh, decided to slow down, run a little offense. Working that three-point shot in the corner. Mosley with a rebound. We've got 110 to play before halftime. I Lady think, Warriors, ball goes out of bounds. So the turnover forced by that pressure defense and the Lifeway coach not liking that call. I, I could have seen a foul there. I seen a non-foul just as well. So three-point shot up by Lady Bobcats. She got it. There's downs from outside. And now Flippin's lead is extended up seven. Mosley gets it at half court. In this corner, uh, Lifeway really hasn't been able to get it into mm. Mosley. Nope. She's wide open now, though. She'll drive to the hole right side, shot up. It's good. Man, difficult shot, but nice play by Mosley. Is that we, rolled in? We've got 30 seconds to play before halftime. Lady Bobcats will have it. I think they'll hopefully show it down for one last possession. Lady Warriors still in the 2-3 zone. We've got 10 seconds to play. Bobcats, three-point shot. No good. Rebounded by Lifeway. Bruner's got it. Two seconds left. And they say she traveled with a basketball? Uh, double dribble was okay. the call. I thought one ref went with a foul, and the other one went with the double dribble. Less than a second left before halftime. Lady Bobcats will inbound it, and that will be halftime. As the flipping Lady Bobcats are up 20 to 15 on the Lifeway Warriors. Well, this is another good one right here on the TLSN, and we're going to step away real quick before we step away. Why don't you tell them a little bit about it? I haven't got a chance to put this up yet, but you were talking earlier about uh, Leopard Sports Media. Uh, where can they check you guys out? You can get us on Facebook at Leopard Sports Media. You can get us on YouTube at Leopard Sports Media. Uh, check on all Alpena sports. I try to, my best to do everything from volleyball, basketball, baseball. I'm not done a track and field meet yet, but we try everything. We love our leopards over there in Boone County, Carroll County. Well, they need to make sure that they go on your page. They need to like it. If YouTube, subscribe. Check out everything, Leopard Sports Media and Mr. Jody Marshall. So we're going to step away now, and uh, we're going to step away for about seven and a half minutes. We'll be back shortly here on the Twin Lakes Sports Net Network. Good one here, first one of the night.
All right, we're back to start the second half. The Lady Bobcats will inbound the ball. Well, this has been a close game throughout. Largest lead has been seven points flipping. Right now they're up five starting the second half. Backcourt pa or oh, backdoor boy. pass. Nice block by Mosley. That was a good look into Alexander, but Mosley, she told her, she said, get that out of here. I know it. I couldn't. I got tongue-tied right there. I seen it coming. Mosley with the ball. She'll try to drive towards the hole. She does on the left side. Shot up. No good. Nice defense there by Downs as Alexander pushes the pace. And another traveling violation on the Lady Bobcats. As the Lady Bobcats, just a lot of unforced errors tonight. I think six according to your count. Yep. So, And Lifeway hanging tight their third game in four nights and having to drive all the way from Centerton. Now we got a jump mid-court. It'll stay with the Lady Warriors. And good defensive play there by Wire, number 10. Still anyone's game, long way to go. First game winner of this advances to the district championship, which is going to be tomorrow night. As Wingard tries to swing it in. Now I'm scared to say number four's name because I butchered it so bad. And, and I was supposed to practice it at halftime, and I forgot. Let's just call her number four. <laughs> no. I know it's hard with some pronunciations for sure. Linegar, not a thing. See, I still, my tongue, I cannot say it right. I apologize. Linda Welch on there. I apologize. I know I'm killing you right now, but lob Pass inside to Mosley. Shot up. Good. Nice left-handed play there by Mosley. That pulls him back within three. As the number one seed, right now only up three with still plenty of time left in this game, but Lifeway has brought it tonight. Knocked away, Mosley got a hand on it. Now Bruner gives it over to Mosley and they're bringing it down. So another turnover, a couple turnovers here to start the second half. Of course, those people tuning in, make sure you hit that share and like button as uh, Rackley comes away with the steal and is going to set up offense from the top. Just a uh, low-scoring defensive battle. Alexander with the runner off the backboards hard. Downs with the rebound. Nice play by Downs. She's played a solid game, hitting threes outside. Just... Powered up with that shot down low. Yeah, the inside outside from Downs as Bruner comes away with that dangerous pass. They go into Mosley. There's a foul down low. That was a good look. Nice pa entry pass from Bruner into Mosley, and she's going to go to the line. First foul here, the second half. She's five for six from the free throws line tonight. So Leninger is called for the foul. That's her first as Mosley hits the free throw. And it's gonna be the first foul of the half, of the second half. She's six for seven tonight. Yeah, those hitting some clutch free, free throws, and that's actually brought him back. Now only down three. Alexander gets in the corner to wire. As defensively, both teams playing a good, doing a good job on defense tonight. Jump shot up, no good. Last touch by the Bobcats. But the, uh, you know, in this 2A conference, you know, we were talking earlier, really, you know, you had about, you know, four or five teams that were all pretty close. Flippin ended up, uh, you know, winning the regular season, but these teams were very competitive with each other throughout the season. Oh, yeah. You know, you had Alpina defeating Cotter, and, I mean, all, all different matchups. Yep. That'll be a double dribble. Well, in Lifeway lost to Alpina twice during the regular season. They did not lose to them here in 
Yeah, in the district, the yeah, yeah, they take the 26-point victory. So uh, it's all about how you're playing on the night of the tournament. And a lot of good games here. Flippin tracks it down, almost had another turnover. Rackley over to Wire. Wire pass is stolen by Bruner. Mosley comes up with it. Is now flipping again, putting the press on. There's Alexander gets the steal. Tiptoeing on the uh, baseline. They're going to get her out of bounds. But now it looks like Flippin's going to put a little bit of pressure. Yeah, they. I mean, they have been pressing full court press the whole game, but it seemed like they, they'll take spurts. What is that? Must says that spurt ability where they just go on a roll. It's kind of what the Lady Bobcats have been doing. Drive to the inside, oh. Mosley. She is fouled by Alexander. So that's going to be Alexander's second. I yeah, need to get them not confused because this is a different Mosley, so she hadn't shot a free throw tonight. Well, see, th now this Mosley, uh, this is Lily. Um, I just called number 15 Mosley because I was butchering her name the other night, and they, like, gave me all these pronunciations run out, and I, <laughs> I could not say it right. So I, I was apologizing to the Lifeway fans the other night. They were having a lot of fun online at my expense. Nah, it happens. We're, you know what? We're already halfway through the third quarter here. Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun and watching a good basketball game. And right now, just anyone's game with Mosley from the free throw line sinks that one. Yeah, and that cuts it right back to a two-point ball game. So Greenhaw and Rackley. Hodges has checked in the game for Alexander. They try to get the Hodges pass off her hands. And again, just another, another turnover. As Mosley drives, dishes it over. Nice play. Shot is up. Off the front of the rim, no good. Lady Bobcats will get it back. Yeah, Bob Rechtenwald on nine, he's like, uh, uh, Bob Rechtenwald on nine, he says, yeah, get those names right. Me and him was getting killed the <laughs> other night. Three-point shot from Greenhaw on the outside, Lady, misses it. Lady Warriors get the rebound. As Rackley all over the court, forces the jump ball. Good hustle there by number 11, Rackley. It'll go back to Lady Bobcats. As all season long, number 11, Rackley, she's been like a little spark plug for that team. And uh, just with the good hustle, forcing the turnover. Well, you know, for not knowing much about these teams, this is a great basketball game. It really is hustle on both sides. Well, they want to get to the finals. Oh, this yeah. is a big game. Benedict gets it, tries to get it to Hodges. I've seen several players on both sides step up. Now we got a foul down low in the bucket. And Hodges hits the shot and draws the foul. Nice turnaround by Hodges. And now it's a four-point game. So Hodges going to the line, foul was on number 12, Wingard, as that free throw is missed. So still a four-point game. Of course, all those fans online, oh, let wow. us know who you're going for as, as a foul on the play going to be. Wow. Okay. Going to be, they call that on number 12, Wingard. That's her second. But uh, all the fans tuning in, yeah, comment. Let us know. Are you cheering for the Warriors? Or are you cheering for the Lady Bobcats? We'd love to see your comments. Or if you've got a player that you'd like to give a shout-out on. You bet. We'd love to see them. Like I said, if you, don't, if you want me to hush, you can put that in the comments too. I just want to know you're out there. <laughs> We've got 2.20 to play in the third quarter. Bobcats still up by four. They have the basketball. Kind of slowing it out out front. Lady Warriors are coming out to get them. They'll drive towards the hole, partially blocked. That was a good play by Mosley getting her hand on it. And now Bruner pushing the pace. Dishes it off. Back to Bruner, shot is up, no good. Greenhaw 
partially blocked that. Good play, good defensive play there by number 22, Greenhaw. I don't know if you give players at the game, but if I was to give a player the game, it, right now, Mosley's in the running. Yeah, Mosley having a big game, but right now they're down four. They get it to Downs, a little jump shot is short. And that's another one that would be in the running. She's played a great game for the Lady Bobcats. It's been a good back and forth between Downs and Mosley, number 15. Now they're double teaming on her down low. Mosley for three. Rebounded by the Bobcats. So Benedict gets the board, gets it off to Merkel as we're under a minute. Again, fast moving game. This game's just flying. Is eight minutes away from one of these teams going to the district championship tomorrow night. They get to Benedict three. for three. Last touch by the Lady Warriors. The Lady Bobcats have had so many good looks from the three-point line tonight, just not, you know, those are shots during the regular season they were hitting. But uh, two, you got to give credit Lifeway on defense. In this low-scoring 24-20 to 20 game. Hodges for three, shot is partially blocked. They get it off to Bruner, they get the ball under 30 seconds to go. She's gonna try to take it coast to coast. Knocked out of bounds. It'll stay on this end of the wall. That was a good defensive play there by the Lady Bobcats getting back. We got 24.5 life away. We'll inbound the ball. Overthrows it. As Hodges comes away with it, 19 seconds left. Shot up. Shot from Downs is good. Got 10 seconds. Turnover by the Bobcats. They get it back. So Merkel. The score, six seconds. Right side shot up. Little long. Gets the rebound off the glass. No good. That'll end the quarter. Well, we still got a good game as uh, the Lady Bobcats get a couple buckets. But right now it's 26 20. Anyone's matchup as we're going into the fourth right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Of course, uh, we want to thank our sponsors. But before we do that, uh, real quick, we did have a, a parent from Eureka Springs. Uh, Holly Ortel asked me to share this uh, to congratulate Eureka Springs, their seniors, undefeated conference championships. We'll be seeing them uh, next in our next game. But regular season's over. Now it's it's uh, playoff time, so we'll have to see what happens. But, again, uh, thank you, Holly Ortel. Congratulations during the regular season to the Eureka Springs squad. But, we're going to thank a few more of our sponsors here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network, such as Ooh La La Boutique and Gifts. Now, Jody, if you go to Ooh La La and you get a gift for your wife, she will go Ooh La La. It will, I mean, if you want to get in good, you just go to Ooh La La. Dave, you've already got me in trouble right here. You do realize that she is watching and listening. Thanks a lot. So I'm going to have to go there. But, like, here's the thing with Ooh La La. Like, if you go there, they're always, you know, because, you know, guys, we wait till the last second. If you go there, Michael Mitchell, she always takes care of you. Awesome. Where's that located at just exactly? It's located in Yellville. You actually drove past it okay. on the way here. So, uh, Also, the deal maker, Joey Shaw, right now he's probably sitting at Clay Maxey watching this saying, all right, I got to get heading that way shortly. But uh, if you want to buy a car, go buy a car. Clay Maxey Chevrolet. Also, Allen's Grocery, the place to meet since 1954. Best steaks you can get anywhere, Allen's Grocery and Summit. I know exactly where that is. I've been there. Life away, we'll inbound the ball to start the fourth quarter. Flippin will come up with it. Well, Flippin has forced a couple turnovers here in the last couple minutes. Has extended their lead to six and trying to get it up a little bit more as now we're in the fourth. This is crunch time. I mean, this is a slower paced ball game, but there's a steal right there. I was gonna say that maybe life away. Mosley to Bruner, back to Mosley. She's gonna take it in, hook shot, partially blocked by Greenhaw. Good defensive play there by Greenhaw. That was a shot earlier in the game that was uncontested, so the adjustment that Flippin's made, they've clogged that, that uh, yep. lane in there. Yeah, I've noticed on Mosley, the last several possessions, they are double and triple teaming her. It's not very often she's open down there like she was in the first half. Well, they're daring someone to beat them, so. Yep. 
They get it to Downs, Downs over to Wire. Now Merkel. We've already taken a minute off here in the fourth quarter. Clock's running down, block. That was a huge rejection there by no, Mosley. I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's her third block of the ball game. Ball's on the floor, Wire. Ball. They're fighting over the ball. He's flipping basketball. So, good play there by Flippin. Now they're going to get the ball back. 6.38 to go, six-point game. Still anyone's game, long way to go. You know what the hardest part is, Dave? What's that? Well, I'm doing the video is because you you're get excited in the game that's in front of you, but you have to focus in on that little square to make sure those people out oh. in TV land see what I get to see. Yeah, when I do it solo, <laughs> it's pretty funny because I'm talking, working the scoreboard and that. And it's, uh, yeah, it's the camera work usually is not quite as solid, but good play there as Lifeway now will get the ball back. That'll be Flippin's third foul of the second half. But I don't want to leave anybody out in the action. I want them to see it all. And I know sometimes it's really hard. Right there, shot up. And Flippin will get the rebound. Alexander oh. corrals it. Pass almost stolen. Now loose ball on the floor. And they're saying it's going to go to Lifeway. I wasn't sure. Joey Croner pointed one way and he turned and pointed the other. <laughs> Lifeway gets the ball. Mosley has it. She's going to drive left side to hole. It's a charging foul. Yeah, they're going to. Merkel steps in front and takes the charge. And so that foul is going to be on Mosley on number 21. That's her first. Now we're going to have a timeout by the Lady Warriors. Yeah, timeout by the Lady Warriors. Right now, still a long way to go. 6.08 left here in the fourth. Right now, it's flipping 26. And the Lady Warriors 20 right here on TLSN. As uh, we're going to thank a few more of our sponsors here. Well, Allen's Grocery, the place to meet since 1954. Be sure and stop by and see them. Also, Old South Burger and Barbecue, food trailer and catering. Give them a call, 405-9798. Man, just talking about burgers and barbecue, that's making me hungry. Old South. I know. It's almost 5 o'clock somewhere. Yeah. Uh, the pharmacy, this is uh, getting ready to open up right across the street from us uh, at Flippin' Station. Check them out on Facebook at Flippin' Station or www.flippinstation.com. New pharmacy in town here in Flippin'. Also, Shark Creek Graphics, T-shirts, stickers, hats, banners, hoodies, license plate, Instagram, Facebook. Check out their location in Gasville. It's pretty sweet. Shark Creek Graphics. And, man, all these food places are making me hungry. Black Sheep Smokehouse and Grill, famous for brisket in Yellville. And they got burger, the Black Sheep Burger. I'm serious, man. It's epic. It's a pound of meat. It's got bacon on it. It's just uh, – You had me at burger. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Also, Buffalo River Float Service, canoes, kayak, shuttle services – Tubes and more. Hey, it's going to be float season before you know it, so give them a call and get prepared for your float. Maybe by this weekend, high, high is up close to 70 degrees, I do believe, Sunday. Yeah, it's crazy. Like this morning, I wore short sleeves to work. I'm like, oh, it's 59. Feels really good. Getting the 60s. Then it's like coming in the game here. I had to wear a jacket. I'm like, what happened? But here we go. Six minutes left. First game of the night, first of four. Here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. And Flippin is just gonna hold the ball. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't coach, but I would think that the Lifeway would, needs to get up there. If not, the clock's just running away. So this kind of makes you, next year, shot clock, this isn't going to happen next year. That's true. And that's one thing I will say I like about it because I've never been a fan of this slow down basketball. As, if you're going to beat me, you're going to beat me, and I'm going to hustle. We're close. To get, basketball is a game of hustle. Well, 45 seconds left, and, I mean, they ran off 45 seconds of the clock right there. Well, they're going to do another 45 and, seconds. Now doing it again. I mean, I don't understand. So a uh, – which flipping now, they've killed a minute just pretty much standing with the ball. 
maybe this is a play by life ways coach, but I don't understand this. I, I mean, I would be up there trying to get the basketball. I want to win this basketball game. Well, still, still a lot of time, but now, I mean, almost a minute and 15 seconds as the clock just continuing to run. So uh, uh, some chess games going on there between uh, the two teams. Not a fan of it, but for flipping, they just killed a minute and a half. And now they got a timeout from flipping. They just killed one minute and 35 seconds there and still have possession of the ball. So, uh, you know, it's been a pretty exciting, it's been a defensive battle, but that was a boring minute and a half there. But for flipping, they killed a minute and a half. So while they're doing that, let's take a couple sponsors real quick. Such as Diatley Dental Care. Great smile. Start with Irvin and Christina Diatley in Mountain Home. Give them a call, 425-1441. Also, Letty's Fine Mexican Dining, located in Gasville. Hey, that's a great place to go. Uh, Domi, I, I know she's got this game streaming on their TV right now, so all you people at Letty's, hey, you're eating at the best. Also, it's getting cold. Make sure your fireplace is ready for the winter. Ozark Fireplace Center. Jeremy Heinrichs, he's a certified chimney sweep. Check them out online, www.ozarkfireplace.com. As here we go, back to action on the floor. 4.25 to go. Lady Bobcats going to inbound. Life away still has – comes up, plays a little bit of pressure, but still not bad. Trying to spread the ball out as much as possible. Flip it is. Right now, if you look at it too, the, both teams with three fouls, so, yeah, you know, it's uh, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't bother me if you at least got one or two in here real quick, make them, you know, a, a foul. So, if it does go down to a one and one situation, you, you've already burned a minute and a half off the clock. You don't need to burn another minute and a half getting to that bonus. This possession now has been oh, she traveled with a basketball. A two minute and twenty second possession there, and uh, so Lifeway now down six. Three thirty nine to go in a uh, interesting fourth quarter. Mosley will inbound the ball in the back court. Hey, at least it was easy for you to keep the camera in on the uh, on the people. So no, not really, because they kind of spread out. I can't get them all at once. <laughs> Mosley has it at the top of the key. As we've been almost uh, two and a half minutes without a shot. Yeah. Now we got a foul out front. As Merkel commits the foul, that's going to be the fourth on the team, second on Merkel. So they're going to continue to have possession. Ready Warriors will inbound on the sideline. Of course, the winner of this goes on to the district. Mosley gets it. Shot Misses up. a shot, shots up, and it's good. Wow. You know what? That right there is a classic example of why you should never give up on the basketball play. She could have easily got caught watching that and not got that rebound and not put it in. So now here goes flipping three minutes. We've had two shots in the last three minutes of basketball. Uh, like we said, this is the last year they're going to be able to do this. Next year, they're going to have a 35-second shot clock. And that's going to change a lot of the strategy of these teams. And I, I don't know across the natural state, but it may force a few of the older ones. They might want to consider retirement as coaches. I've heard that from a few people. I don't like to say that out loud, but they're used to the old way of playing basketball. But it's good, it's good overall, because if you have it in the high school ranks, or if you don't have it in the high school ranks, once they get to college, it's a total change of the game. And if those people ever make it to the pros, that's, I mean, they could have been learning this shot clock since the time they were in fifth grade. Well, now it's, Mer uh, that was number three on Wingard, fourth on the team, as Wire just dribbling it around, running off some clock right now. It's a two possession game. We've had two shots here in the last three and a half minutes. I know that's what their coach told them to do, but you know, they they get a steal right here. As balls off of, well, they're gonna call the foul. But I mean, if they got a steal right there and life away come and shot the ball and put it within two or tied the ball game up right here, 
that right, that open layup that she could have hit right there could have be costly. So Mosley uh, commits the foul. That's her second, fifth on the team. We got a foul out front. So that's number three, Addie Russell commits the foul. That's number six. So next one will be going to the free throw line. We got 2.03 left to play in the ball game. Flipping trying to inbound in front of their own bench. Real quick, uh, Ellen Downs Richie said she's cheering for her granddaughter, Senior Allie Downs. So glad to have you joining us here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. And she has played a great basketball game, hitting shots from both inside and out. Merkel drives, takes it in, and they commit the foul, which now will make them have to go to the free throw line. So foul's going to be on number 15, Mosley. That's her first, seventh on the team, as number 20, Merkel, going to the line. we got a minute and 46 seconds to play in the ball game for a one-on-one -on -one opportunity here. She got the first one. Yeah, clutch free throw. Is right now this fourth quarter, um, not a high scoring fourth quarter. <laughs> now I'll be honest with you, I think it was 26 to 20 when we started the fourth quarter. So one to two. <laughs> <laughs> two to two right two now. Two to two now in the fourth. So back to a six point lead, two possession game under two minutes, which that strategy ate off, you know, about yeah. three minutes of the clock. And I'm not saying it's a bad strategy. It's just I, I, I'm always fearful about things coming back when you when you get kind of shellaxed, shot up there. Nice play by Mosley. Now the uh, Lady Warriors want a timeout. See, and that still cuts it back within. Back to oh. a two-possession game here, four points. You know, just imagine what happens if they wouldn't have ran that a minute and a half off. I mean, I'm telling you, the game is not over. This could get wild right here at the very end. And we wouldn't have it any other way. Let's thank a few more sponsors, such as Ashley Haven State Farm, www.ashleywhavens.com, locations in Mountain Home and Flippin'. Stop by and get your insurance quote today. Don't overpay for insurance this year. Taylor's Freeze Queen there in Gasville. Is it worth it? It is. It Taylor's, is. Taylor's Freeze is. King, man. They have they got a Bobcat Burger. They got a Warrior Burger. They got a Bomber Burger. All the local schools here over in, in our area. Not a Leopard Burger, though. No, no, Leopard. We won't go there. Now <laughs> Vance Vision Clinic. Yeah, Dr. Dustin Vance, complete eye care. He's got his location over in Gasville. And this is the deal maker, Joey Shaw, Cotter Rock Cottage, BRBO 955-491. You got someone coming to the area. Don't have them stay in a hotel. Have them stay at Cotter Rock Cottage. And that's Laugh and Learn Academy. If you need some daycare, they got a special going right now. So if you're wanting to register your child at Laugh and Learn Academy, if you mention Twin Lakes Sports Network, they'll give you 50% off your registration fees at Laugh and Learn Academy. So here we go. It's crunch time, 126. It is, uh, I had someone ask, I said, is the scoreboard correct? Yeah, it is 28 to 24. This fourth quarter has been a Four to two in favor of Lifeway, but right now down four. Of course, uh, we had one possession where a team held the ball for three minutes, so. Flipping with the ball in the backcourt. Still met with pressure, they get it across. As Lifeway putting some pressure on, commits the foul. That's gonna be number eight, so going to the free throw line here. That's gonna be number three on number three, which is uh, it's going to be Addie Russell. I'm sorry, my handwriting's atrocious there. Well, maybe that's why you don't understand the names because you can't <laughs> see to write them, though. <laughs> now, the ones I'm messing up are printed out as they missed the free throw. So now Lifeway's got the ball, pushing the pace. Bruner with the spin move, misses the shot. Loose ball. It's on the floor. We and got a timeout, Bobcats. Flippin gets the timeout, so 1.23 to go. Lifeway had a chance to get it back to a one-possession game, but couldn't take advantage of it. Technically, it's 1.03 to go. Getting close. So, Arena Sports Grill, I have been there many times. Great food, great atmosphere. Love that place. Yeah, Arena Sports Grill. Also, uh, Sims Family Auction, specializing in all types of auctions. Sims Family Auction. Uh, like I always say, Hunter, he's going to be coaching here at about 7 o'clock tonight, but call him any other time between 7 and – don't call him between 7 and 8.30. So. Bobby Sue's Restaurant. 
Yeah, they have award-winning breakfast. I mean, just some great, great breakfast. Man, I'm getting so hungry doing all these sponsors. I know. So I'm going to switch it and do some scoreboard sponsors instead. We want to thank our scoreboard sponsors, such as Genuine Care Pharmacy, Sonic here in Flippin' and Gasville, Arena Sports Grill, Marion County Farm Bureau, Vance Vision Clinic, and Shark Creek Graphics. We appreciate each and every one of them. And we appreciate all these local businesses. We have 26 businesses sponsor us this year. And we couldn't do this without them. They allow that allows to pay for all the equipment and and all the expense. You know, we got this nice new soundboard. I used to have this mic I had to like carry with me everywhere. And we, yeah, we prayed. Oh. We're like, please, battery, do not go out. Last till the end of the game. Oh yeah. Now we're good as long as no one unplugs the power cord, which the, the power thing back there is going out, so it's hanging by a thread. We just need it to last tonight. So, and tomorrow. Lady Bobcats will inbound. Met with full court pressure. He'll push up the left side, try to go towards the hole, right side, shot up, good. Lindinger hits the bucket, nice play, and now extends it. It's still a two-possession game, six-point lead, flipping over Lifeway. So Lifeway's going to have to work quick. Foul on the play. They say no shot, foul before the bucket. As fouls on downs on the floor, so... That means they're going to be inbounding it as they come back. We got another timeout on the floor. 46.3 seconds to go. Two possession game right here at TLSN. Also, we're going to thank a few more of our sponsors, such as Carla Lee Shipman, Marion County Farm Bureau. Helps if I hit the button. So it goes over. There we go. Carla Lee Shipman, Marion County Farm Bureau, 449 481. Call her today. Get your insurance quote, Carla Lee. And for all your pharmaceutical needs, go see our good friend Clint Rectumwall, that Genuine Care Pharmacy. Uh, Clint and the group there do a tremendous job. And uh, just tell them, say, hey, Twin Lake Sports Network sent us. And Sonic and Flippin' and Gasville, proud sponsors here on Twin Lakes Media, or Twin Lakes Sports hey, Network. Hey. It's hard. You're used to doing Leopard I know, Sports Media. I know. so It just comes off my tongue. <laughs> and then All Creatures Veterinary Hospital, two locations, one in 62 West. One in 62 East Mountain Home. Stop by and see him for all your veterinarian needs. And right now, the needs for Lifeway is to try to get a bucket here. Two possession game. They are under there into the floor. They got the ball and the foul. Yeah, the nice play. Lob into Mosley. The foul's going to be on Alexander. So they said she was not in the act of shooting. Kind of. So that's foul number six. Yep. So one more and they'll be going to the line. Three point shot out front. Little short. Last touch by the Bobcats. So a break there with the uh, rebound going out of bounds. Good look there. I mean, good play. They were, they were definitely packing it in on Mosley yep. in the kick outside, but Bruner just couldn't hit the three. Finds Mosley down low, shot up, little strong. Bobcats come up with it. And there's Downs ripping it away. Good play by Downs. We've got 35 seconds left to play. Lady Bobcats are going to go to the line for one and one. Still, it's the ninth foul. You said that was Downs on the line? Uh, actually, I'm sorry. That's Merkel going Merkel. to the line. So, uh, Merkel now, the chance this could make it a three-possession game if she can hit one of these free throws. Misses it. Still a two-possession game. Lifeway's going to have to work quick here. Under 30 seconds. Mosley has the ball across the timeline. She's going to try to back her person in there, and they've got a foul now. Oh, no, timeout. So 24.5 seconds left. Both teams still with two timeouts. As uh, It's uh, been a defensive battle. Yeah, guys, the scoreboard is correct. Uh, this fourth quarter has been 4-4. Four to four. As an interesting strategy by the teams. Right now, Flippin's got the lead. Two-possession game. Real quick, I want to let's catch up on a couple comments online. Uh, we got Brittany Moore. She said total shooting. Uh, Zach Hamilton, go Lady Bobcats. Carl Mosley or Carrie Mosley said these Warriors don't quit. Same five girls have played the whole game. Tough girls. Maylee Benedict, let's go girls finish. And then Aaron Lindsay, uh, that was back during the ball stalling. So, <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, which hey, I I get it, I get it. That was. Real nice to see. Can I? I guess I can say that over the <laughs> Facebook airwaves. We have more than we have hundreds of people watching us right now. Thank you for that. That yeah. is that is awesome that we're getting out that much reach. Yeah, thanks for everyone bringing us in your homes 
on a uh, cold night, but it's warm in here. And now Merkel gets the steal, takes it in, hits the bucket, and that might seal the deal right there. Barring a Reggie Miller, and that doesn't look like it's gonna happen as they're down to eight seconds. Mosley drives to the hole left side and lays it up. And they'll call a timeout. Still puts him down by six. Yeah, down six, 2.7 seconds to go. It looks like that probably is gonna clinch it. But that lady was right. Lady Warriors did not give up. They could have just easily walked up the floor and said, I'm done. But they didn't, stole that ball and put it up. We still got two seconds. There's still every ounce of fight in these kids. And that's what we love to see at, at any level basketball. Yeah, this has been a good one. We've had some great games this week, of course. You know, free throws at the end, overtime games, uh, some some uh, surprises on the games, upsets. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, this is our first of four, three more to go after this. And uh, this has been a good one to start out. Of course, we're going to have Alpina versus Eureka uh, coming up immediately after this. So Maybe I can say go Leopards before they mute me, huh? <laughs> No. So I will tell the fans on there that are tuning in, we're actually going to close this stream out at the end of this game. We'll open up a new one just speci specifically for that game. So don't panic when it goes dead at the end. That's just us. We'll open up a new stream. Give, give me about three minutes to get it up, so don't panic too bad. And the Lady Bobcats survive a very game. Lifeway Warriors squad, they brought it tonight, but... The number one seed advances now to the finals and will take on either Yellville or Cotter. The winner of that game will be later this evening right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. So we're going to step away. I'm going to end this stream and we'll open up a new one and be ready. we got some senior boys basketball coming up shortly right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. <laughs> 